Hi, uh, today we'll be discussing more about heaps. In the last lecture, we saw two operations on the heap that was insertion and the deletion procedures on heap. Today, uh, as we know, like in last lecture, in last lecture, we learned that there are two kinds of heaps. One is max heap and the other is min heap. So we'll today learn the basic concept on heaps that is to build a heap from a given array. Let's see how we can build a heap from the input space which was given in the input that is 3 and I am taking it as 0 based index but I will take from 1 so this is 2, this is 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and if I build a raw heap out of this this will be the scene so I will take we will take the middle index of this array that will be 3 and we will go this way and put all the elements on the upper half of the array into a correct position into the heap so at when we are at 1 and we are making a max heap what what are the right child and left child left will be 2 multiplied by 3 plus 1 that oh sorry 0 that will be 6 and right will be 7 now we'll check whether the right and the left child satisfy the max heap property that means whether left is greater than parent that is a of 3 and that is a of 6 and a of 7 is greater than a of 3 is this property true in this case a of 6 and a of 7 uh, no both are greater sorry uh, we are making max heap so it should be less than right? children should be less than the parent so these two violate this property so we'll take the maximum out of it what is the maximum out of left and right child that is a of 6 and a of a of 7 what is the max out of this? If I take max, it will be 10. So a of 7 is the max. So we'll swap a of 7 with a of 3. So our input array after this particular operation will be and the input array will be changed to this. Now what we'll do, is there any element on the right hand side? Is there any element which we can compare or are there any children of 1 after this? No. So we'll stop here and we'll decrement our i count towards 0 index of the array so it will be i equals to now 2 so now left child will become 2 multiplied by 2 equals to 4 and right will become so now we'll, we have to check a of 2 with a of 4 and a of 5 so a of 2 should be greater so it is 2 and a of 4 is 4 and it is 7 it does, again doesn't satisfy the maxi property so we'll swap the maximum out of 4 and 5 that is 7 so the input array will become in this input array what will happen we have swapped 7 with this so this will become 7 and this will become 2 so at 2 what is the index 5 is the index so left and right child are out of bound of the array so will not move further and we will decrement i so now i becomes 1 right so the condition now left l is equals to 2 and r is equals to 3 and we have to compare a of 1 with a of 2 and a of 3 and a of 1 should be the maximum so a of 3 and 2 and 10 which is the maximum this doesn't satisfy the maxi property so we have to replace a of 1 with the maximum of a of 2 or a of 3 so 10 is the maximum so 3 will be replaced with 10 so the output array after this particular maxi property will be now 3 has come here are there any valid children of 3 beneath after this yes so this is 1 2 and 3 so uh, left child will be 6 and right child will be 7 now is this a of 3 a of 6 and a of 7 does they satisfy the maxi property that means a of 3 should be maximum and which is not so we'll take the maximum of 6 7 and replace or the swap it with a of 3 so the output final output array will be something like this so what will happen we are swapping uh, 10 was here right? 10 was here so we swap 10 with 3 so it, this become 3 and now again we are swapping 6 with 3 so 3 becomes here so in the next page i'll draw the complete heap so this was the complete max heap built from the input space so let's write the code here what we are doing is uh, we have nothing but like we have a function called as build heap and we have been given integer of 
array of integers and its size and size is inclusive of the last index that means end is equals to size not it is not the exact size it's the number of elements so at the time of uh, checking boundaries we'll take care of that thing what we'll do like we'll start with int i equals to zero for i i equals to size of divided by two and well i is greater than equals to one because we have one based uh, array index and i minus minus till the time we do this what we'll do like we will just heapify heapify the array with a input i input and the size of the array as input the main function here is heapify let's see how heapify is implemented so void heapify takes input a input i and input size now what we have to do is we have to first find out as we are looking at the array when we are solving the example what we will do is like we will we are finding int l that is left child that will be 2 multiplied by i int r that will be 2 multiplied by i plus 1 if if l is less than equals to size and l is sorry a of l is greater than a of i that means the children is greater the child is greater than the parent we will make largest equals to l for now and we will check if r is less than equals to size and a of now we'll check large largest is less than a of r that means largest is still less than a of r that means largest is r once we are there we'll check if i is equal not equals to largest that means the same element is not the largest element otherwise we have to stop if it is not then swap a of i with a of largest and again call the same function that is heapify a and now it will be largest and it will be size good uh, this is the function while we are heapifying the whole array and this is the wrapper function which works on each of the element half of the elements of the array and put them into the correct order in this particular fashion which takes the largest element out of three that is the parent the left child and the right child and puts them into the correct position into the array so now let's see how we can use this particular property to sort an array this particular section is called heap sort so we'll we saw how to build a heap out of an array once we have built a heap out of an array and we'll make a max heap out of an array in the last section we saw that once we have max heap what we'll do how can we sort this array or how can we use max heap to sort this array so let's see this is our input space and this was our array i think uh, 10 this was up our max heap now we have to sort this array how do we go about it and then if we draw this here it will be something like this so once we are there we are max we have built max heap now how do we use it to sort what we'll do like we pluck out the first max element and put it onto the last element that means we will swap the last element of the heap with the first element of the heap. So in this array based index, uh, array based implementation, what will happen? One will come here, seven, six, and now ten is here. Or in this, it will be ten, and this will be one. Now what we have to do? This is at the correct position, so we don't want to care about this position because this is the maximum element in the heap, and we have put it on the last element. Cool. So this is at the correct position. Now we we have left with these these elements, and we have to heapify them again for the max heap. So this is gone. Now what we learn? We have to heapify this using this index. So heapify with zero, right? Now, oh sorry, one index one. So left child will be two multiplied by one. That is two. Uh, R will be three. So this is two and this is three. What is the maximum between 1, 2 and 3? That is 7. So 7 will be replaced with 1. The remaining input array will become 7. Now 1 is at 2. So L will be 4 and R will be 5. Which is the maximum between 4, 5 uh, and 2? That is 4. So our final input array will be this case. It will be something like 7, 4, 6, 2, 1 and 
3 because 10 is already at the correct position. So this is again our max heap. Now what we will do? We will again swap the last element, last element with the top of the array and we will remove that element from the array. So after swapping this array will become and this will be 7 and after that that will 10 we are just neglecting them because they are at the correct position. Now we have to again build heap from these elements right. So this is and we will do it from i equals to 1 only. So l equals to 2 r equals to 3 which is the max 6 is the max. So 6 will come at the first position 4 will be the 3 2 and 1. Now this is 2 oh sorry 3. And 4 and 5 so there is no left and right side of this so we will stop here and we will again swap these two elements so the array will become the sorted element and again i equals to l equal to 2 r equals to 3 which is the maximum 4 is the maximum we will swap 4 with 1 this is again 2 so 4 sorry 1 is there right so 4 is maximum so we will swap 2 with 1 so the final Sorry, I am running out of space. So, final input space will be 4, 2, 3, and 1. And uh, after that, 6, 7, 10 have been already sorted. Now, we will swap 4 with 1 again. So, this is now sorted, and we have to max build a max heap out of these 3. So, it will be 3, 2, comma 1, and 3 will be swapped again with 1, and we have to build a max heap out of these 2. So, again, 2 will be there, and 1, right. So similarly, at the end of the array, uh, hold this procedure will end up with the sorted array. So let's see how we can sort this array. We'll write void. We have been given int of a and int of psi. Now we'll take first step. We'll take build max key. as we saw in the previous section of this video. That we will pass int and size and we'll build the max heap and we'll decrement the size of the heap. So we'll take what we'll do while size is greater than or equals to one. We will swap a of size and a of one. That means the first element and the last element are swapped, and size is decremented. And what we call is heapify on input array and the first index and the size. So this heapify step is the same heapify step which we did in the last section when we were building the heap. Instead of uh, the array index uh, i, we are taking the first element because we are always swapping uh, the last element with the size. And every time we are decrementing the size so that our the sorted array remains out of this out of scope of this heapify statement. So this is how heap sort works. Heap sort is very simple. We have to understand two basic principles: how to build a max heap out of an array, and then again swap the last element with the first element and put the first element into the correct position in the heap excluding the last element and as we move further the size will decrement and decrement till the time we reach at the size of one when we reach at the size of one our input space is already sorted with this heap property thank you very much for watching